it is it is extraordinary everyone hopes they will do the right thing don't they in that situation but you did do the heroic thing uh, you'd just been into the Houses of Parliament for a meeting about boxing, hadn't you, at the time? Yes. Talk us through what happened as, as you emerged. Uh, basically, as we were leaving the big grand hall, um, as you come out the entrance, basically 12 o'clock from me, uh, straight opposite on the perimeter of the fence, on the outside of the perimeter, I could hear lots of commotion, which I thought was a little bit of an argument of maybe a fight. And then what seemed to happen, obviously I know now that's where he crashed the car, and then the noise seemed to sort of travel along to the left-hand side, which handrails the perimeter, mm. which brought me to carriage gates where I seen both gates were open. And as I seen, <coughs> excuse me, as I seen through, through the gates, there was actually people running. And for some reason or another, I thought it must be some kind of protest, some mm. Greenpeace mm. activist. Mm. Um, so I kind of got my phone back out and um, saw a video on and then everything happened dead quick and I knew the mood had changed when the attacker came through the gates and started attacking on the policeman. And you saw that happen? Yeah, and that, you know, obviously I saw the, the shine off the blades. Um, and on that moment there, there was quite a lot of people in front of me, which I was on the sort of, I was fenced in. Yeah. Um, so I tried to gesture for people to move and there was people running in all different directions. Mm. I got enough space to leap the fence um, and sort of run towards the situation because, you know, it was a, fight or flight moment and yeah. um, I mm. just thought these people needed help so that's mm. what I've... Um, you, you had that instinct as Kate was saying to go forward we we're mm. just hearing the police saying yesterday that's the last thing they want people to do they want them to ride hun, uh, run hide and tell um, and you jumped over to do everything you could to try and save PC Keith Palmer's life uh, I can't imagine what was going through your mind while you're working on his body trying to stem the blood Tony. Yeah. I mean as soon as I leapt the fence my feet landed on the ground, uh, as I recall. You know, um, there was one of the policemen, I believe, that was stood with Keith, who was who gave another an early warning signal, sh shouted "Run!" Mm. And I remember him saying the words, "They've got knives," and that's you know, I'm not going to repeat my, my my thoughts mm. on that exact mm. moment, but I thought you know, I made possibly the wrong decision that we were being attacked in numbers. Mm. You know, fortunately we weren't, um, and everything happened so quick, and because of that gentleman's actions, he probably saved countless lives and mm. you know. I mm. injuries um, you know and everything happened dead yes, quick a marksman I thought on the day had run up to the, the side of me and sort of you know um, dealt with the attacker um, but I now know he was a bodyguard yeah. and that's when I've went over to, to tend to Keith. Mm. Well we think you're extraordinary and it's the actions of people like you that helped on those dark day and unfortunately we've had other horrible incidents mm. since that really make you sort of restore your faith in humanity basically so yeah. thank you very much for that thank, thank you Tony thanks for coming and sharing yeah. your story and congratulations yes. on the award as well okay thank you very much lovely to meet you